Ever since I learned the phrase, the Buddhist uh, quote, relax, nothing is under control. Uh, it gives me the freedom of not needing to be in control of everything, and I love it. It's brought me peace. Without it, my mind is constantly occupied, tapping each perceived problem like keeping plates spinning. In the background, like breathing or blinking, my brain will worry on things, sending messages to my muscles to clench and my teeth to grind. And I can feel myself physically relax when I let go of all these things that I can't control. I let my breath out, that deeper part that I've been holding in, even as the shallower air is forced in and out in spurts, maintaining a minimum. But lately, as things escalate in Israel and Palestine, Gaza, the West Bank, Jerusalem, all these places that are home, that aren't formal places at all, that want to be places, as events are pressed into more chaos and situations get more dire and wars last and last, like in the Ukraine and our ongoing seemingly no end in sight, as we face this roar of chaos, this phrase has changed and brings me no comfort in the face of these things. Nothing is under control. Whipped into a frenzy that has another pit of frenzy behind it, more destruction than we thought when we had no more loss of control to lose. The very nature of nothing is under control is the opposite of anything remotely comforting. And without it, with a burgeoning sense that the world is left to burn, not just left to its own devices, I am left a little bereft. It's less about, I can't control everything and so why, and more about, is this how the world ends and all I can do is watch. There are people in all of this who are trying to wrestle control, uh, who are following religious edicts, who are taking countermeasures, who pledge aid, who try to mediate, who rail against, who are plotting, who are counteracting plots, who strategize. All of these people are trying to take control of the situation and bring about some order to all of those driving forces and the actions that we witness. And so it occurred to me only a few days ago um, in this light with this new dynamic of everyone spinning bigger plates, what if there is a tiny little space for nothing to be in control? Can I reinterpret this? This mantra was for me and my hunched shoulders. But these conflicts are made of greater things than my burdens, older and more gnarled. Can we apply this phrase on a grander scale? What happens if all the plans of the generals and the terrorists are no longer in control? Does it leave a little crack for light to get in? If no control means a surprise, an option that hadn't been there before, an idea outside of the consciousness that was part of this problem, can we make a way for that? What if the way it manifests in all this grief and strife is something unexpected like a third way? A little small spark of hope when peace talks are done because there's no table to go back to at this point. And control doesn't mean to keep pushing away toward a solution because we've dissolved past a solution. In a hot wind past tear-stained faces and the red light from fires and rubble, what if a tiny speck of magic comes into being as a small white glow floating on gusts? Like Tink. If you don't believe in fairies, she'll die. But if you do, she shines brighter. Hope for that way for an unexpected bit of magic to get in. Blow on that spark with me. There's no reason for it, and there's no plan that incorporates it, and it's fanciful, I know. And I hear you. These are real problems. You are not taking this seriously. You are dismissing real people's lives. God, I hope I'm not. I hope for this with every breath that I have, the deep and the shallow that there could be a way that will manifest itself if we let it in. We stand for peace for an hour on Sundays, and on Saturdays, and it doesn't belittle the hell that all of these people are living through, nor do we pretend it will put an immediate stop to the horror that we are seeing. But this is a time when my life is not about me. It's not about how a phrase brings me comfort, but about how it might be able to bring about more than comfort to something greater than myself to a whole of which I am only part. Perhaps if we can allow for a miracle to happen, if we leave a way for it to come in, blow on that spark with me. Namaste.